I know it's been over a week since the event that this video is centered around happened, but you know what they say, better late than never. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and let's get into it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Well, it's been a few days since Nintendo's newest Direct, and boy, were there some pretty interesting updates regarding games coming out, as well as some updates to games already released. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about some of my personal highlights regarding the presentation. I was thinking of talking about every single announcement that was given, but we would be here for a while. Not to mention, some of the announcements I just didn't really care for. Instead, I'll just be touching base on some of the announcements that I am looking forward to personally. But before we begin, please consider hitting that like button if you're also excited for the future of Nintendo. And while you're down in that area, also click on that subscribe button for more videos like this. Anyways, with that, let's dive into these announcements. Let's start off with the first huge development, the return of Mario Strikers. This is a Mario sports game, with the spotlight being shown on soccer, or football for all you Brits out there. The original Mario Strikers came out for the GameCube back in 2005, and there was a remake that came out a few years later for the Wii in 2007. Even though I've never played any of the past Mario Strikers titles, this game looks hella fun, and I'm definitely considering getting this game. If I ever do end up getting this game when it comes out, I will definitely stream it over on twitch.tv forward slash hbgaming13. Stop on by to see what I'm up to, please? It's just one more rendition of a Mario sports game, along with tennis, baseball, racing, and even Olympic events. This game has a set release of June 10th, with pre-orders already available. Next up in the list of new Switch games that I am looking forward to is the upcoming third installment of Splatoon. Now, I've never played the first Splatoon game, seeing that I never owned a Wii U, so Splatoon 2 is my first exposure to the series, and I'm so glad I got into it. The aesthetics, the quality, and the overall gameplay is very nice to look at, as well as easy to understand. However, I'm not the kind of player to play single player story mode, but with Splatoon 3, this game is going to have a co-op mode of Salmon Runs, as well as the classic online game modes such as Turf War, Clan Blitz, and Rainmaker. There are also going to be new weapons, new maps, and new maneuvers to play with. Overall, this game looks very exciting, and I'm very eager to see it breathe new life into the Splatoon franchise. It is set for a summer 2022 release, so instead of going to the beach or going on vacation this summer, Grab your Switch and play some Splatoon 3 with your friends, because that's a lot more fun. For the next one, let's backtrack a bit to one of the smaller announcements, a new game for the series known as Advance Wars. This series, which was primarily on handheld games previously, such as the Game Boy and the 3DS, is now coming to the Switch. The Switch port will be known as Advance Wars 1 Plus 2 Reboot Camp. I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw this in the direct, I commented that it looked like a mobile app game. Dude, this looks like a mobile app game, what is this? I honestly think this game looks pretty fun, but I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna get it or not. It's set to release on April 8th, so about two months away, so I have until then to decide. Overall, this game did pique my interest slightly, but not as much as some of the other announcements. Speaking of, let's move on. A new Kirby game was announced during the Direct as well, though it was mentioned back at E3. Or was it another Direct? I honestly don't remember, due to it being a while back. And I might get some hate for this, but I never played a Kirby game before. Yes, yes, I know, boo all you want. I was never really into it to be honest. However, this game, known as Kirby and the Forgotten Land, makes me have a complete switch around. This game looks very fun, and the fact that Kirby can now turn into a freaking car is awesome as well. That creature can suck, I mean inhale, anything. And I mean anything, even humans. And this ability to practically turn into a vehicle is only one of the many new mouthful modes that Kirby can now achieve. There's also vending mouth, cone mouth, ring mouth, light bulb mouth, and water balloon mouth, just to name a few. Is it just me, or do these names sound like insults you might hear on an elementary school playground? 
And don't even get me started about the new items Kirby can use to fight his way through the game, such as a clutter needle, a gigant sword, and a toy hammer. Just look at the way he beats up that innocent rabbit. What did that rabbit do to you, Kirby? The only downside is that there is no King Dedede, but I see enough of that fat but lovable king in Smash, so I think we're okay on that front. It has a launch date of March 25th, which is the closest date so far. Anyway, I only have a few highlights left, so let's keep them coming. I have fond memories of 5 year old me playing Wii Sports for hours and hours on end back in the day. Well, it turns out that I will soon be able to relive those glory days thanks to the next game, Nintendo Switch Sports. This game is a reboot of the classic Wii game, but with added sports. Sports like badminton, soccer, and volleyball have been added. However, the good old classics like tennis and bowling are also making a comeback. Another classic, golf, is gonna be added to the game after its release, which is honestly kind of a bummer, but it still gives us something to look forward to. The one question I have though is, what the hell are these creatures? Those aren't how I remember the Miis to look like. These people look cracked, and not in the good way. But this game really looks like a great time. I like the fact that they added badminton, since I'm a fan of playing badminton in real life. I know, I know. I'm a nerd. This game has a release date of April 29th, so we don't have long to wait until we can relive days gone by. Anyways, on to the next highlight. We're almost done, I promise. The next highlight isn't really much of a highlight, as I don't really care for this series all that much, and I was really shocked when this was announced. Apparently, there is a new Xenoblade Chronicles game coming. Why do I find this surprising? Because, well, just look at these sales numbers. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition sold around 1.52 million copies as of December 2020, and Xenoblade 2 sold around 2.05 million copies as of September 2020. Those numbers are good and all, but they are minuscule compared to Mario or Zelda titles, which easily surpass 5 million copies, which those two games have not done. Not to mention, the Xenoblade fanbase is relatively small compared to the Pokemon, Mario, or Zelda series. There's a reason why Xenoblade 2 is ranked number 39 in the list of most sold Switch games with 54 spots. This game will be released in September of this year. So for those of you who are massive Xenoblade fans, and I know my friend Big Red is among them, I hope you enjoy the game when it comes out. Anyway, with that aside, let's move on to my biggest highlight from the Direct. In the months before the Direct, people all over the internet were asking the same question. Will Nintendo make an announcement regarding Mario Kart 9? Well, Nintendo did mention Mario Kart, but not Mario Kart 9 like people were hoping for, myself included. Instead, we got some DLC content for the current newest installment, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And that DLC content will contain 48 new courses, which were handpicked from all the past Mario Kart games. That's right, 48 more tracks. There are already 48 tracks in the game currently, so the number of total courses will double. Holy crap! If you think 48 tracks is more than enough, just wait until we get almost 100. If I had to complain though, we aren't getting new characters, so yeah. That's a big rip. However, Nintendo isn't going to release all new 48 tracks at once. That would be utter insanity. Instead, they're going to release them in 6 waves, with 8 tracks each wave. Because math. And as a side note, you'll be extra lucky if you both have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and have the Nintendo Online Membership. Because it'll be added to the extra stuff with the membership, such as the N64 expansion, the SNES slash NES expansion, and all that other stuff that I don't feel like mentioning, to no additional cost. At least, that's what I gather from the announcement. You can enjoy this DLC at no additional cost with the Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack membership. At no additional cost. At no additional cost. So yeah, it may not be Mario Kart 9 like we wanted it to be, but it's still a really cool update nonetheless, which I'm really excited for. And that is the end of my Nintendo Direct Highlights video. 
Hopefully you guys are just as excited as I am for what is in store for the Nintendo Switch. Or Nintendo in general. Comment down below what your favorite announcement was. Don't forget to check me out on Twitch, Instagram, and TikTok. Links will be in the description. Anyways, that's all for now. I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, Cyan Dragon, out.